Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Breyer, and today I'd like to show you how to draw the female chest. Now, of course, we can't use the uh, actual terms for it because, you know, I want to keep this on YouTube and keep it clean. And uh, today I have here three uh, subjects here, front facing, uh, three-fourths facing, and, uh, facing on the side. Now, I could show you the sketch of it here, but, uh, obviously it's not exactly why we're here today to show you. If you want to see that, I can possibly do another tutorial sometime later. Feel free to leave that in the comments. Now, one useful tip here. You can see right here, at the layer, I have it locked. The light on here locked. Most other paint programs should have a very similar uh, feature. The only thing you can do is you can change the color of your light art to anything you like when you do that. It can be a very useful trick to simply pop out uh, specific parts of your drawing. So yeah, we'll keep the uh, body here at a nice vibrant blue so it sticks out as we slowly show the steps of how I would draw uh, the chest. So I'll usually take a rather large painting brush. Got it right here. Start with very large, very large brush strokes. And it looks something like this, right? Simply um, putting in the guidelines of the very, very basic shape that you want for it. Also, very useful tip. Right up here for Psy, Flip Horizons. Always flip your canvas, people. Always. Every step of the way. Anyways, so, how I would normally draw with these very large painting brushes, start with a very large brush, and then about cut it by half as I draw over and flip the canvas. So next level looks something like this. As you can see, I have to make a bit more connections to where the uh, chest fat would actually connect to. Uh... Fantastic YouTuber, uh, Mega Mikey, I believe his name is, which suggests instead of starting at the connection of the chest and um, shoulder muscle, the armpit, he suggests to start by the neck. And I have to agree, it can be quite useful for certain poses, but in other poses, like say here, it is maybe best to actually try to connect where the actual fat tissue would go, which would be at the... Uh, armpit slash chest and shoulder muscles meeting. Then of course, I would again flip my canvas and use a brush that's even smaller still. And again, we're seeing the shapes fully hammered out. And you can see how they are attached and resting on the chest. Side can be a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Get it to look right. So that's one of those things that you kind of just have to keep flipping and keep testing out. Even for me, for someone who's been drawing professionally for about eight years, I can still mess it up. I'm not perfect, right? No one's perfect. What's the uh, lovely words of... Uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> Happy mistakes and all. And again, flip your canvas. Use a smaller brush. And now we start actually getting the shapes of discerning where the planes are. And discerning the planes is essentially how you would create form. Because without planes, there is no form. So then you have the planes of the chest and where they curve off and where they curve around 
and where they curve into, right? Again, at this step, it actually helped quite a bit for the side profile. Still not perfect, mind you, but getting there. And of course, you start to see how my base has those very same plane lines. I don't always draw them out that specific when I'm sketching. I don't necessarily need to, but it can be a very useful tool just to kind of remember where shadows and lighting would go, for example but just to kind of have the three-dimensional shape in your mind. And again, you would flip your canvas like a good boy and use a smaller brush. And essentially, this is the last bit of the sketch where you have fully connected the breast to the uh, very edges of where the... Uh, chest muscles are meeting the shoulder muscles showing the flatness of the plane on top going over and showing the edge of the of the, of the chest and now we actually the uh, side profile not looking too bad now yep even someone like me I ain't perfect and of course lastly I of course drew it in red so it sticks out more. Now, of course, is this where the uh, the edge of the plane would be? Don't have to say what it is fully, right? Of course, connects up to the armpit muscles. And yes, the slope would start from the collarbone leading down and over the edge. And of course, you can use a little bit of cross-hatching to show that the... Uh, the chest is flopped over the rest of it. And essentially, at least for me, that's how I would do it. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. My name is Chris Breyer, and thanks for having me. Take care.